Thank you for joining us today for the final of three videos for the HB candidate. This HB shoeing video number three will cover special features and bar shoes. The first feature I'm going to talk about is squared toes. They are squared off. This prevents forging or overreaching of the hind foot. It causes the breakover sooner. In other words, the foot gets out of the way because it breaks over sooner. And it makes it break over in the center of the foot. It does this by moving the break, breakover point farther back on the foot. This can be used on the front, behind, or all four. This can be forged from a bar or they can work with a keg shoe. The next feature we're going to talk about is a rolled toe. You can also see on this shoe that it's rolled in the front. It is not squared off like the other shoes. It has a roll. And this is the same feature as having a squared toe. The idea is that it increases the breakover speed. It breaks over sooner. So it prevents it from stumbling. It might actually reduce stress on the flexor tendons. Often show horses and harness racing horses will use a shoe like this. The next thing we're going to talk about is bar shoes. And there are lots and lots of bar shoes. They're used whenever it's advantageous to apply pressure to or relieve pressure from one part of the foot. The first bar shoe I have is a straight bar shoe. You can see it's straight. Hence the name straight bar shoe. It decreases the expansion on the heels. It offers support to the structures at the back of the foot and the back of the lower limb. It is used to treat coffin bone fractures, navicular syndrome, quarter cracks, maybe suspensory ligament issues or flexor tendon injuries. The next shoe is the heart bar shoe. And you can see it named come from the heart in the middle. It's a large area that covers the frog. It increases frog support and so it decreases the weight bearing load on the wall of the hoof. It can relieve pressure from navicular syndrome. It can be used to apply pressure slightly behind the point of the frog. It's used to prevent further coffin bone rotation. Our next shoe is an egg bar shoe. And again, it gets its name from its shape. It's an egg shape. That's an egg bar shoe. It gives greater support to the structures at the back of the hoof. Um, it helps with tendon issues or suspensory issues or low sloping heels. A horse that's diagnosed with um, caudal heel pain, navicular syndrome, and if it's an aluminum like this one, it's lighter, which may also help their symptoms. Um, if it's made with a higher heel like this one, or wedge, it can use to decrease the pull on the flexor tendons. Uh, you have to be careful with this, though, because it can lead to contracted or crushed heels. So this shoe is used judiciously. The next shoe I want to talk about is a concave shoe. This one does have a fuller or crease all the way around, but you notice the inside edge here is concave. It's not straight down like this shoe might be. It's at an angle. The internal edge of the ground surface is concave instead of perpendicular to the ground. A horse that rides on turf or dirt arenas, it's good for them. The dirt is less likely to get packed up in the hooves. It's used for a variety of disciplines. We have a sliding shoe or slider. It's a smooth surface. It's mostly used in the hind shoe of reining horses. It allows them to perform sliding stops. The web is usually wider than the normal shoe, 
which also helps the sliding ability. Thank you for joining us today on the last of our three video series for the HB candidate. We hope you do a great job on your shoeing section at your certification.